Since the initial discovery of the alien spacecraft in 2054 by the Equigen Corporation, we have located no other relics of the Tesseran culture. Why did they abandon their vessel? What do they look like? Where did they come from and where did they go? All we have is a tantalizing piece of machinery and damn few answers. As you know, the scientific developments from this find have pushed human technology literally light years ahead of itself. Prime example being faster than light travel. However, two and a half weeks ago, a Norwegian interworld research ship under the command of Ian Borge was conducting surveys of an unexplored planet he'd christened Elysium. By the purest coincidence, one of Borge's survey probes landed within visual range of what he believed to be a Tesseran artifact. Unfortunately, Borge never had the chance to verify the find. His vessel lost its fuel in a micrometeor collision. But before his orbit decayed, Borge transmitted the data to the Norwegian interworld base on Sigma-5. At this point, the find is still unverified. His untimely death has opened a loophole in interstellar salvage law, which we may now exploit. Because Borge never actually set foot on Elysium, Norwegian interworld cannot claim the find if it exists. Sir, so I propose that we get Kiriyama Enterprises down on the surface of Elysium before Norwegian Interworld or any other competitor and claim this find. Whatever it might be, under interstellar salvage law, all rights would be ours. That would be a substantial coup for us. Yes. It is due to arrive this evening at Star City. I've arranged to have their couriers intercepted by one of ours. Pentan? Yes. She was made for this type of work. If that tape does contain information about another Tesseran ship, it'll do big things for this corporation. The Norwegian couriers will be landing in 45 minutes. Engage and cancel them. Sorry. I know that makes you feel uncomfortable. Why shouldn't it? You activate that, a little charge goes off in my head, and 70 hours later I'm dead from a massive hemorrhage. After the kill, find a safe place and absorb the data with this. Rendezvous with me at Junhorn Station by 3.20, and everything will be fine. Why must they be killed? We want no loose ends, no evidence, which is why you're going to memorize the tape with that. What about my freedom? Oh, come on now. Let's not start that again. You know we can't do that. You're not recognized by the law. They don't even know you exist. Besides, if you didn't work for us, what would you do? Live a normal life? Let's keep in mind what you are, hmm? Keep a clear head. You're in a real hurry to get us back. Yeah, I hate it when you don't know what you're carrying. <laughs> well, that's when you really know it's important. Yeah, but at least you can do is let you know if it's animal, vegetable, or mineral. Don't move.
Why must they be killed? We want no loose ends. You're compelled to carry out your instructions. What about my freedom? You're not recognized by the law. Kill only when necessary, remember? Whoever possesses that data is going to be very rich. By 3,000 shares of Franz Industrial Group. Excuse me, Mr. Kuriyama, but I have a call from Star City. It's John Mosby. Put him on. Well, John, how did it go? Not very well, I'm afraid. Why? Was she killed? No worse. She's defected. I'm sure that she intercepted the tape, because Norwegian Interworld Security is buzzing all over the place. And they're pissed off. How do you know she defected? She's the best we have. Sir, I was standing on the platform, waiting for her to disembark. She looked right at me, the doors closed, and she kept on going. So I activated the stroke. She gave me no choice. Then she'll be dead in three days. That's right. She is now the only one who knows where the derelict is. She saw me activate the stroke, and if she wants to live, she'll be back. We're the only ones that can save her. No, we're not the only ones. You forgot about Thornton. Start a phase one search immediately. Cover her before she gets off world. Right. If I had the money, I'd give it to you. Since Danny ran off, I haven't been able to pay anyone. Just give me a couple more days. Look, Brickman, I don't care if the partner stuck you with the dead. He's gone. But it's you who owe me now. It's already been two weeks. Tomorrow I'm gonna file an injunction against your sheep. And just to be sure that you don't run out of me while the legality is in progress, I'm gonna have to brook it for your tesserian fuel cell. <laughs> like hell you will. Now that's a bad attitude, Harold. To brook, if you please. If this Neanderthal tries to board my ship, I'm gonna smash its damn scuff. <laughs> That'll be enough. It seems that you have a rescuer, Brickman. Back off. I think you've picked the wrong time. <laughs> I'll be back tomorrow with the League of Authority to pack me up. Yeah, well, I'll be here, George. Son of a bitch. I'd like to thank you for helping me, Miss... Um, Pentan. Miss Pentan. Pentan is enough.
Well, you must like excitement in your life, Brickman. Occasionally. Do you need a doctor? No. Been a lot worse off than this before. I bet you have. <sighs> Look, thanks again for helping me. If there's anything I can do for you sometime. As a matter of fact, there is. If you're up to it. I would like to charter your ship. You do charter, don't you? Sure do. From what I've gathered, you could use the money. Yeah, well, who couldn't? So what's a haul? Just me. I want you to fly me to Innisfree. It's a planet within the Halcyon system. I know where it is. It's quite a distance. You have to be talking about a lot of money. Possibly. Would you like one? Sure, thanks. That's the destination. I require two things from this voyage. Speed and anonymity. I can pay you 8,000 American dollars. Here's 6,000 cash in advance. You'll get the rest at the end of our voyage. But this is all on the condition that we leave as soon as possible. We could leave by mid-morning. Is that the soonest? I gotta get some supplies, take care of some business. Pay some debts? Yeah. Created from genes carefully selected from thousands of people. Geniuses, artists, athletes, all contributed to your intelligence and your superior physical prowess. But I know how people fear me. I know I'm not human. You're a marvel, one of great value, particularly to this corporation. I will educate you, teach you to use that gift in your head. You were designed cancel obstructions to this corporation. Use all your faculties to achieve your objectives. You were made unfettered by the human emotions of sympathy or love through weaknesses. Your reasoning power, logic, and superior physical ability are your strengths. Carry out your instructions with ruthless precision. Kill only when you have to, but when you do, use any means available. All right. Let's see what you remember from yesterday. Begin! Stop! Look, one instant of lax behavior like that in the field and you're dead. Try it again. Begin. Well... Very good. And this is your auto programming course selector. And of course, all of these weapon systems are controlled through the joystick here. What you're about to meet is a being designed for physical strength and intellect. She can be used to steal, seduce, kill, 
or perform any number of a myriad of functions with precision, all to further the objectives of Kiriyama Enterprises. The most subtle and perhaps most effective tool of corporate warfare. I introduce Pentan. George, I got his money right here, all right? Shut up. You'll have to come with us now. No, Mosby, I won't. Why? You're working for someone else. You keep forgetting that you're not a human being with rights recognized by the law. We designed you. We created you. You belong to us. We want what you acquired last night. Where is it? Up here so I wouldn't let any of your goon boys open fire on me. Get her. I'm professional, Mosby. They're getting sloppy. You of all people should know how that costs. Remember what you told me in training? Always know your objective and pursue it with ruthless precision. And what is your objective? To get there before us. Claim the ship. Buy yourself an identity. That's pretty damn naive coming from you. You were our best design. What a pity you'll be dead in 65 hours now by my count. I know. You've activated the stroker. So what are you going to do? I could start by busting you up. Frightened? We have to leave before he returns with reinforcements. You don't want to take me now, do you? Look, what he said is true. If I'm not on Innisfree in 65 hours, I'll be dead. There's a man there who can help, but I need you to get me there. You just killed those two men. It was necessary. I don't know what the hell's going on here or what you are, but I don't need to get involved. I got enough problems of my own. It's too late, Brickman. You're already involved. I'm sorry, I gotta report this. No, I'm sorry.
have a male target in sight. Hold in on my beacon. Don't kill the bastard, I need him alive. And keep a sharp eye out for her. Now! Fueled and ready to leave orbit at once. Right, sir. Well, we're on course. We ought to be there in about 53 hours. So isn't there something you want to tell me? No. No. Okay. Well, are you hungry then? No. So you're a synthetic person. That's what that was all about back there, wasn't it? Yes. I always thought synthetic people were... Less than human? Yeah. I mean, no. I mean, I thought they were designed to do menial duties or jobs considered too dangerous for... Um... Real people? All right. So who were those guys back there, anyway? For employers. I was designed for corporate warfare. Theft. Seduction. Assassination. But I got tired of being a slave to them, doing their dirty work, so I left. While doing so, I kept something they had me steal for them. Do you remember when the Tesseran ship was discovered? Of course. I was in high school. 
As you can see, it made quite an impression on me. Well, you can imagine what it did for industry. The amount of revenue it generated for its discoverers. That ship was the most valuable find in history. It's unique. Another one has never been discovered. The propulsion systems on this ship are an example of just one of its technological applications. I know where there's another one. It's unclaimed. But if I'm not on Innisfree by tomorrow, it won't matter. Why not? There's a device implanted in the back of my head, which will cause a massive cerebral hemorrhage in less than 65 hours. There's a man on Innisfree who may be able to help me. Well, I'll get you there. You can trust me. I've been taught never to trust anyone. But I have no choice. Fine. So where do we go when we get to Innisfree? To Sky House. It's the center of a huge terraforming operation. I have a friend there, Robert Thornton. He's a genetic engineer. He designed me. He's the only one who can help. He may be able to stop it. Why don't you try to get some sleep? No, I'd rather not. Why not? I'm afraid I might not wake up. You know, you're very important to us. To me, in particular. I would like you to have this. Let it be a symbol of our ideals, of fealty, strength, and logic. How do you feel? Considering that I'm looking at you, I feel fine. Can you sit up? I think so. Good to see you, girl. You look wonderful. God, I stink. I've been sweating in these clothes for four days now. Yeah, you're a bit ripe. Thanks. What happened? Another Tesseran ship has been found. And I'm the only one who knows where it is. You've broken away? Did you think I wouldn't want my freedom? Did you think I was stupid? You, Pentan? Never. You've always been one of the most consistently clear thinkers I've ever designed when it comes to strategy. Hello. Well, Brickman, this is Innisfree. 
It is a bit bare and actually hardly habitable, but when you consider how hostile a planet's environment can be, it's really quite tame. The vapors below are deadly after prolonged exposure. That's why all the structures here are built above a certain altitude. Brickman? Thank you. You're welcome. Are you sure you have everything you need? Yes. With your computer, I was able to analyze the data. I now know the precise location of the artifact and have a good idea of what to expect from the environment. Okay. You know, Kuriyama is right behind us. I've held my own against him before. Uh, well, uh... Mm. Mm, smells like adventure in the air. Engine exhaust, maybe? <laughs> no, no, that's, uh, that's definitely adventure. Come on, let's blow this joint. I'd, uh, like to thank you for everything, sir. Take care of yourself, Brickman. I intend to. She cares for people more than she'll admit. go. Two contacts on an intercept course, closing rapidly. Oh shit. Toll Wars. I sure as hell won't be able to outrun them. Hailing class D 62889, do you copy over? Hailing class D 62889, do you copy over? Affirmative, we copy. Please identify yourself. You're not transmitting your registration signal. Mr. Brickman, you will rendezvous with our mothership over to reference 209-49026, or we will eradicate your vessel. Respond. Nice guys. He's brought out the Promethean. Do what they say. Do what they s Affirmative, we'll comply. I ain't going in no mothership. Look how casually they're flying next to us. What do you think this is, just some cabin cruiser? We'll wait until we're out of the atmosphere, then I'll blast their navigational thrusters. With the plasma projector? You knew about that? It was one of the deciding factors when I first met you. Brickman, it can't be legal, otherwise it would have been registered in your listing. Yeah, I've been meaning to do that. Uh-huh. So, you know how it works? Yes. 
Well, I gotta get us out of the atmosphere anyway, so why don't you try to hit the navigational thrusters? But just the thrusters, okay? That ought to knock them out of commission. At least they have a chance to be picked up before their orbits decay. And that'll buy us enough time to get the hell out of here. Okay, 6288-92, stand by to release control and allow slave docking transmissions on channel 32-12, over. Jesus, he's not fooling around. The Promethean. Kuriyama is sparing no expense to catch up with us. This is his biggest business endeavor to date, and he doesn't want me to screw it up for him. Well, if we're gonna break away, now's the time. I'll fly you, operate the fire control. But on my signal. you kiss me because I don't feel what you feel my past experiences with sex have never involved feeling emotion not in the sense that you wanted I'm not talking about sex I know that's why I can't give you what you want how do you know I mean how can you be so sure if you've never tried before I don't know how I can act it, but I can't feel it, and I don't want to deceive you. All I want you to do is to trust me.
Takashi. Hello, Robert. John? You're looking well, mate. She got away, Robert. I need to know what you know. Elysium, that's where she's going. And I have no idea what system it's in. You know her almost as well as I do. She didn't tell me anything more than she had to. Mosby, seize the memory systems the computers here and run a high-speed scan for any data pertaining to Elysium. Right, sir. Commander Mosby, we've secured the data room. We're preparing our scans. You know, you're taking a dangerous gamble. That's right. The biggest one to date. What's gone wrong with her, Robert? You tell me. You're the one who had her trained as an assassin. That wasn't my idea. Or have you forgotten that's the reason I left? I'll get her back if possible. Mosby misevaluated her. She's been in the field just too long. I've got it. It's 24 light years from here, in the realm. You're right about one thing. I don't need your weaknesses. That's why you're here designing bacteria, trying to make this planet habitable, instead of creating elite beings like Pendan. I'd take you with me if I thought it would do me any good. But as you said, I no longer need a conscience. Eco! safe if I fail. What are you thinking? You know, it wouldn't kill you to open up to me. I've been taught never to trust anyone. In my profession, trust gets you killed. That's why I was the best. I didn't make mistakes. Do you trust me? Look at my hand. Look at it! I've killed with this. That's what I am. That's what I've been trained for. I don't know what it's like to trust someone. Then what did we just share? I gave you what I thought you wanted. Look, I'm trying hard not to fool you as to who I am and what I'm capable of. If you wanted something more platonic, I'm sorry. Fine. But what happens to me after you get what you want? Will you bother to say something or will you just disappear? Or better yet, will you kill me too?
This is the very reason why I went into space. It's like a dream come true. No wonder Ian Borge risked his life for this. No radiation is being emitted whatsoever. And only visible light bounces back, aside from that narrow spectrum. <laughs> it's completely invisible. Wait a minute. Borges landing probe. Still transmitting data to a man who will never collect it. We radio our claim to the UN Transportation Authority and wait for them to dispatch a cruiser to substantiate it. Hello, boss. What a magnificent find. I congratulate you on your attempt to claim the Tesseran vessel before me. I'm afraid I already have. Pendan, my dear, 
You're an excellent liar. We've been monitoring UN transmissions for the past two days. No claims have been filed. And as you know, if they were, quite a stir would have been created. We trained and treated you well. You've been of great value to us. What happened? You must analyze your situation now. You cannot succeed. You're overwhelmed. Oh yeah? Well, we got here first, so why don't you just take a... Pentan, you've never been taught to accept defeat. Up until now, you've been good enough. You didn't have to. With this find, the assets of my corporation will be staggering. You join me. Your emotions have clouded your intellect. I'm giving you a chance to survive. Otherwise, I'll have to obliterate you and write you off as a capital loss. Your analysis is as impeccable as always, sir. Thank you. Get rid of that bastard. So we must get back to the Promethean and radio in our claim. Right. I know you wanted me to trust you. This is exactly why I couldn't. The first duty of any organism is to survive. How can you live with yourself? We're all alone in this universe. Once you've established that, Nothing hurts. Goodbye. That's a goddamn lie and you know it!
I told you no harm would come to you. Let's get out of here. We got two Tolars on the ground here burning. We're lifting off. You'll have to make a run for Deterrent space once you're out of the atmosphere. Your ship is too slow for this work. I know, I know. What about you? I still intend to claim that derelict. You can't take them all on. Oh, I think I can. I'm thoroughly trained in the use of these vessels. The Promethean can carry a maximum of eight Tolos. I've got one and have taken two out. Plus, they lost a third around industry. That leaves four to be dealt with. What about the Promethean? She's a cargo vessel, not a military ship. Pretty vulnerable without fighter protection. She's got sophisticated tracking equipment and shrapnel torpedoes. Even you can't evade millions of steel projectiles. No time to argue. We've got hostiles on our tail. <laughs> Omi was against her programming to disobey orders. That she had no emotions. Look how much damage she's done. Look how much it cost us. We found it necessary to program her with certain emotion. Otherwise, she wouldn't be able to blend in with the populace while on a mission. Hmm? Sir? Yes. Towers 1 and 3 have been completely destroyed. Towers 1 and 3 have engaged her and been destroyed. So what do we do now? You're the one who wanted her to be trained to fly combat. She's exceeded our design expectations. Damn. Sir, we have a contact leaving the atmosphere, but it's not a Tolwar. Brickmanship. Have Tolwar 7 and 8 prepared for launch. Have each of them armed with a three megaton fusion torpedo. Tell the fighter pilots to detonate at those coordinates. She'll try to intercept the fighters in an attempt to save Brickman. The torpedoes will obliterate everything 800 kilometers in all directions. Permitted Promethean. Proceeding towards radar contact. The launch of the missile in Centan is 400 kilometers distant. Got a long-range visual sighting. Shit, two Toll Wars. They must be tracking me since your radar invisible. I got him. Transfer to my ship and let's get the hell out of here before it's too late. I told you there won't be a planet in any system where we would be safe if I fail. Trust me. You never admit it if you trust me. I trust you, Brickman. for 
six second fuse. Once I launch, we'll fly like hell before it ignites. That's not much time. The full throttle will be far enough away before it detonates. I'm still here. You all right? Yeah, a bit shaken up. So is the ship. Yeah, thermonuclear blast. I saw it coming. According to diagnostics, I've lost radar. It's smoking quite a bit. I'm purging the atmosphere. What now? I take out the remaining fighters. B. She'll try to divide and take us one at a time. Seven has been destroyed. Tolwar Eight is approaching, requesting permission to dock. Is he still armed? I say again, requesting permission to dock. Has he got the warhead, man? Yes, sir. Shoot him down. Fire torpedo now. Look, she's on.
You waited a millennium for someone to claim you. I'm the only one that's left. <laughs>